The majority of these players spend on luxurious residencies, exceptional yachts, private aircraft, and of course, designer labels, while others may consider becoming better versions of themselves on their body goal. This is how PGA legends spend their millions. The British golfer truly is a joker. Hatton, who is set to be worth $5 million, wants to improve his garage. So he bought himself a Lamborghini Huracan at 164,000 pounds. It was also customized by Yanimize and has purple paint and green brake calipers, making it resemble Batman's infamous nemesis. Hatton apparently now operates a different vehicle. I'll see you soon, yeah? Take care. See you later. The only thing Ricky Fowler loves more than golf are probably automobiles and the color orange. The Oklahoma State alumnus has been riding dirt motorcycles since he was three years old and grew up competing in them. Ricky's father pushed him to pursue his dreams of being a professional quad and three-wheeler. Fowler decided on golf overriding when he had the choice. He changed his focus to include cars since he felt the dirt riding posed too great a risk to his work. Fowler now regards track days as the most enjoyable and career-safe method for him to get his adrenaline pumping. His long-standing relationship with Mercedes has had a significant impact on his garage, which includes a handy GLS 63 SUV, which is especially helpful for journeys to and from tournaments and moving his equipment. AMG GTS, another Mercedes, was in Ricky's collection. Fowler's longest-held possession, save his Mercedes, is a Mitsubishi Evo X. He added a Nissan GTR to his collection after getting his PGA Tour card, and because of his affection for the automobile, he later bought the R35 and R34 models. A Ferrari 458 guarantees that the Italian heavyweights are represented in Fowler's collection, despite being in no way comparable to Poulter. The American has said that he loves driving vehicles with features that are uncommon among customers. His 1966 Mini, for instance, has undergone a thorough makeover and is now matte black with orange wheels to signify his college allegiance. Being associated with the highly popular Mercedes and Red Bull companies allows Ricky to attend races whenever he can because he is a huge F1 enthusiast. He's as talented as I've ever seen, specifically around the green. He's one of the greatest players in the history of this game. He's extremely talented, one of the greatest of all time. When you have a jet set golfer's lifestyle like Phil Mickelson, you'll never want to take a commercial flight again. Mickelson spent 45 million pounds on his personal Golfstream 5. The US Air Force and US Navy are the primary users of the aircraft, which has room for up to 19 passengers. Additionally, it has a 12,000 kilometer flight range. There isn't much information available regarding Phil Mickelson's present residence because he keeps his personal life private. But the only thing we do know is that he and his family reside in Rancho Santa Fe, California. The Rancho Santa Fe home is noteworthy due to its incredible features and the presence of a home course. Its average price was around $5.3 million. We must agree that not many homes have their own private golf course, even if it's expected that a professional golfer's home would have a home course. If you want to build your own home, you may always pick the best architectural firm to handle the job. The Rancho Santa Fe property has two guest houses, 4.5 acres of ground, and its own putting green. The 9,100 square foot main residence has several remarkable features. Woods owns a mega yacht in addition to leading the Florida lifestyle that we all want, which includes driving fast cars and residing in a 41 million pounds estate. It's called privacy, and it costs a staggering 15 million pounds. It was purchased in 2004 and has six staterooms with a total sleeping capacity of 10 people. The ship's nine crew members reside in four staterooms as well. In addition, there's a fully stocked bar, a large eight-person jacuzzi, a three-person elevator for going between floors, and a fully equipped gym on board. On the boat, there's still space for three jet skis, two ocean kayaks, and two Vespa scooters in addition to a dive station. In 2017, McElroy used a portion of his $170 million wealth to purchase an incredible 8.5 million pound Florida mansion in the Bears Club, a golf community established in 1999 by Jack Nicklaus. The enormous home has seven bedrooms and 10 bathrooms and is approximately 12,800 square feet. 
A house theater, enormous pool, gaming area, and recording studio are among the amenities. Additionally, the lavish property had been held by Ernie Els before McLeroy, so it had been in well-known hands before that. Poulter's F-12 Ferrari was purchased by the Northern Irishman back in 2015, a fact that Poulter said was difficult for him to accept when he first saw it at a subsequent competition. The Europeans continued to work together as a duo during the Ryder Cup in France last year, showing that their bond is still strong as ever. Although McElroy's garage is shrouded in secrecy, there are persistent rumors that he formerly had a Bugatti Veyron and that in 2013 he was seen driving a $400,000 Lamborghini Aventador. McElroy had a BMW i8 and an M6 Grand Coupe thanks to the same manufacturer in 2015. Before purchasing his own vehicle in 2015, Rory got the chance to drive the i8 in the BMW Championships in 2014. All of their cars collectively, I really enjoy. One of the golfers with the biggest social media activity is Ian Poulter. It is typical for the Englishman to display his impressive automobile collection, which is mostly characterized by his passion for Ferrari, given that he is an indisputable petrol head. Poulter promised himself he would purchase a Ferrari after his maiden event victory after receiving his tour card in 2000. However, he realized that his winning check wasn't nearly big enough to fulfill this desire when he won the Italian Open in October of that same year. It wasn't until he won his third competition, the Italian Open in 2002, that he actually took the plunge and bought a Ferrari 360. The Postman has disclosed that since making this initial purchase, both his love for Ferrari and his collection of cars have grown. His collection of Ferraris include a 275 GTB4, an Enzo, a 550 Barchetta, and a Testarossa, which was Ian's father's favorite model. Poulter admits that his present collection resembles a museum and that he only sometimes uses the Ferrari in his collection, along with their motors. But Poulter just drove a 288 GTO, another one of his Ferraris from Leon to Monaco in style, and he said it was the most fun he's ever had in a car. The height of Poulter's collection may be two LaFerraris. He has said that possessing the two is the stuff of a Ferrari fan's fantasy. Poulter has a Ford GT and keeps a Bugatti in his garage on loan from an industry buddy in addition to his intense passion for Ferrari. He also acquired a Mercedes G-Wagon V8 by Turbo to utilize for the week at the BMW PGA Championship at Wentworth. Back in 2011, Bubba Watson and Ricky Fowler both held prominent positions in the PGA-exclusive philanthropic boy band Golf Boys. In 2016, Bubba said that he had bought 37 automobiles in the previous 12 years. I said, I'll show her. I'll buy 200 at one time. Oh, so I got a deal with you. Yeah, exactly. And was now a co-owner of a Chevrolet dealership in Florida. Being a lifelong auto enthusiast, Watson's most well-known purchase is a General Lee, one of the 1969 Dodge Chargers used in the Dukes of Hazard TV series. In 2012, the left-hander paid $110,000 for Lee won at an auction in Arizona. Booba faced criticism in 2015 because of the painted Confederate flag on the car. In response to continued criticism of its symbolism, the two-time Masters winner promised to paint over the flag with the American version. Nine people were slain at the historic Black Church in Charleston in June 2015, and the alleged shooter was shown in images holding the Confederate battle flag. After his round at the West Virginian Greenbrier Classic, Watson declared that his choice was, quote, the right gesture for me to do. Additionally, he claimed that the American flag symbolized the idea that everyone is, quote, created equal. And there you go. What do you think about how they spend their millions? Let us hear your thoughts in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more amazing content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.